in this video we are looking into adding the volume to a pod so we have deployed the pod we looked into ports and some other stuff now we want to add volume to it so let me look at the files we have i will take the simple pod and edit that one into the volume one volume pod so yeah so that's the one where i'm going to pick and yeah let's edit this one this will remain the same let me just make it simpler and delete the labels spec is okay since this is more volume oriented instead of nginx i'm going to use redis database and here we are going to specify a few things now volume is a specification of a pod we are adding a volume to the pod so instead in the same indentation as containers because this is not inside containers this is outside the container that's very important to know so we are going to create a volume and just like a container you're going to name it uh, let's call it redis volume keep it short and next is you want to specify what type of volume there are. it is and we are going to don't panic going for the type of empty directory this is the syntax you have to follow to specify it's an empty directory now what that practically means for us it means where the data of this pod not the pod specifically the container you're going to assign this volume to the volume is going to be attached to the container if the container is dead an another container will be created for whatever reason xyz reason it's down it's dead another container is created so if the data was inside the container it would be lost so we attach a volume to it and tell it this is where you're going to keep your data a particular data that we assigned to so this volume dies only when the pod dies but not when a container dies that's what empty directory type is it dies with the pod and not with the container so now we have given the pod a volume but we haven't given the container the volume i hope you got that that's outside the container so we are going to tell the container use this volume and for that the keyword is volume mounts it, there could be more than one so the keyword is mounts but we are only attaching one use again use a hyphen to specify one mount what's the name of the volume that you want to attach it's called redis volume right and with not mount mount where do you want what data do you want to be transferred to this volume essentially that's the mount path it's going to be mounted in for redis this is the default folder so this is where we want to mount so it is now attached to the volume so when the container dies everything inside this will be safe in simpler terms that's the most simple way i can put it everything inside this would be safe inside the container so this is just a case of redis but whatever your use case be mount path is what you want to keep safe and what you attach to this volume but remember this does die when the pod dies so the lifeline is till the pod lives but it is safe from container failure and that is very very essential in most cases so yeah i've spoken a lot uh the demo will be in the next video how this works but as i'm following the bits nature of this series uh yeah you basically create it create from file volume pod all right 
Sorry. Did it look high? I think it was with this. Let's create another pod which our specifications. It's not ready yet. Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Wow, it's taking time because of the volume addition. So it makes it a little bit different. Cube serial describe my pod. It's the same pod, and you should see a volume attached. Yep, here in the mounts. I was like, where did it go? read and write access to this mount and yeah that's the volume and type empty directory a temporary directory that shares the pod's lifetime i like how they mention it here so we haven't given it a size limit that is also something you can do yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching